Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Neo R C P. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I uh, here we have my very first paint job, um, and it looks like a very first paint job. It's not horrible. I'm not. Uh, I'm not totally displeased with it. I learned a lot. Um, so there's a lot of things I'm going to do differently next time. Um, masking was incredibly uh, frustrating. <laughs> irritating. I uh, need a lot of patience for the masking part. Um, tr trimming part I need a lot of work with because uh, that looks horrible. I still have the uh, the coating, the protective uh, heat on that thing so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off and then we can all look at the look at the paint job for the first time. There is a lot of uh, trimming I'm gonna have to do have to do with this yet but let's go ahead and peel this off see what it looks like there's a lot of overspray on this let's see if I can catch a corner here catch somewhere I can start peeling there we go I kind of butchered the front because I had to had to trim out a little bit of the front to get over the bumper and the frame. So yeah, let me get this down here and we'll go ahead and peel that off. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about the neighbor uh, just fired up his lawnmower there. But, uh, anyway, let's peel this thing off and see what it looks like. I did uh, nick the paint quite a bit when I was trying to tr trim this thing up. And my uh, masking lines weren't perfect. There's a lot, a lot I, uh, I learned on this one. So, uh, but, all in all, I don't think it turned out horrible. Well, there it is, it's a, it's a material metallic blue and I uh, you can see here where I got the, uh, the masking wrong a little bit I tried to go along the top but uh, look good looks good along the bottom but the top didn't quite cut it I am gonna trim a lot if you look at the bottom here I have it trace so it's gonna kind of mimic the frame there so we're gonna trim all this off so a lot of this and on this side here I don't know if you can see it in the Sun it actually looks I guess it was just on this, but there was a little bit of overspray. It looked like it got underneath the uh, the masking tape, but uh, looks like it was just on the uh, on the cover there. So that's good. So those turned out good. You can see in the back, I completely messed up the back because when I took the masking tape off, I had all these little pipes. I was gonna just paint those pipes. I don't know if you're seeing that or not. I was gonna paint all these little pipes individually s s silver and then in, in in the middle black and I had all that taped off I sprayed the blue and uh, evidently I didn't it was hard to get it way down in the crack down in there and uh, you can tell I uh, I thought it was dry and that's when I was uh, messing with something and I got my finger way up in there but it didn't show through too bad you can see it a little bit there but not terrible but uh, you can see when I pulled the masking tape off there I got frustrated because it pulled all of this masking off with it so I would have had to redo all that so uh, I tried to hand paint those pipes and that didn't work out because it just ran all over the place so I just decided to spray this whole thing but I didn't clean the masking tape it looks there that's what it looks like I think because I, I cleaned the masking tape off of this piece and that turned out perfect and I didn't clean this after I pulled the masking tape off it and that's where I screwed up because you can see all the everything's uneven and you can see I got a little bit of overspray it didn't work out really good along the edges down in there but overall I don't think it turned out half bad so it's, it's putting on there about five miles up the road from a uh, 
Air Force Auxiliary Base, so we get those planes, oops, flying over here all the time. So. Anyway, all in all, I don't think it turned out horrible. Uh, I got the inspiration for the, the black on the hood off of, uh, off of my truck. I don't know if you can see it in there. But uh, kind of got the inspiration off of that. Back out, but yeah, I think it. Uh, I think it turned out halfway d d d d decent. I'm not uh, totally unimpressed with it. There are some things uh, definitely I learned. Are, uh, you have to wait for the paint to dry before you take the mass off. Um, learned that the hard way. On one of the windows. I forgot which one it was. It's, it's one of these little side windows here. But uh, yeah, I didn't quite get the mask off. Or I didn't let the paint dry enough, and it kind of pulled the paint a little bit, but not. You can't see it too much on the outside. You can see it a lot on the inside. I don't know if you can tell if it's on this one. You'd have to look, look at the bottom. Of it. it was that one right there. You can see where I pulled the mask off a little premature. All the other ones turned out good because I waited until it dried. I thought it was dry, so I went go ahead and tried to peel it off, but it was not dry. So, anyway, I'm not going to make this too long. I'm not going to run it or anything. I just wanted to show how the paint job turned out. I don't think it turned out horrible, but uh, I am going to trim pretty much from here. I wouldn't say that much off, but you know, a good portion of it to kind of contour with the frame. I might bring it all the way up and just kind of even it in with the uh, fender back there. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not uh, terribly good at trimming straight lines, so we'll see how that goes. But all right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.